What's up with this, Meep? You're sleeping on the job, man. You gotta get back to work. We gotta make another video. Welcome back, everybody, to Oxygen Not Included. So, uh, in the last episode here, we were able to set up all of these electrolyzer systems over here, and we do have many of the hydrogen generators set up. What I hope to find out today is whether or not this hydrogen rocket is indeed going to be self-powering, or more or less, try to figure out how far out into space it can go before it is no longer self-powering. Um, because what we're doing right now is we're capturing steam over here and that is going to condense that down into water We're going to store it up in the liquid reservoirs and then we process that water into its two parts that comes out of the electrolyzer here So we got hydrogen and oxygen and those flow through these pipes right here and then get processed down into liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen and then at that point it becomes fuel and the fuel runs back into the rockets whenever they land so the rocket that is out there that went really really far is the spirit of Val and it is not going to return for another 15 cycles. Luckily, the performance update to the game over the weekend has really made this game a lot smoother, so I could probably get away with running the game a little bit faster, um, when at least when I'm not recording, <laughs> I should say. But in between those moments, when we really want to speed something up, we can do that. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the few extra frames that we have. I think, ooh, 18. <laughs> not bad, though, not bad. It seems like some pips have decided to try to take over. This poor auto sweeper is having the hardest time trying to keep eggs inside of this storage bin. These pips just keep knocking them out. No! Nope. Bad pip! Look at him go! Ah, jeez. You let one pip out, and then you end up with a plague, man. Ridiculous. Everybody look away. We're doing a lot of murderizing here. Welcome to Monday. Don't worry, we're doing it for the frames, guys. One critter at a time. Hopefully you guys had a good weekend. Mine was pretty good. It wasn't very long, though. I spent most of it in oxygen not included. The automated volcano system that I did in this last video, that video took a long time to make. Although I do recommend watching that video. It might give you some ideas on how to set up your own volcano system. There's many different solutions out there for tapping into volcanoes and metal volcanoes and... Uh, that last solution right there is going to really work well for what I want to do inside of my base, which is a very modular kind of setup where I'll be uh, processing lots of crude oil. Uh, we'll also be processing um, dirt and stuff like that. So I kind of need a way to really ship the heat around. I can't just throw it straight into a steam turbine and call that good enough. So I really wanted one system that could just be used for anything, and now we have that, and I could build on different modules to it, which is which is going to be really cool. Matter of fact, we already got the blueprint right here. We could just plop that down. Boom, done. My dupes will come on over here and build it up. But I think I'm, but I'm definitely going to combine these three volcanoes here. So this one, this one, and that one. So to do that, we're going to need to build up the magma here, let it roll on over there, and then process it, or something like that. Excuse me, Dr. Eskimo. What? What are you doing? Don't tell me you're stuck. Ugh, these dupes. <laughs> these dupes. What am I going to do with you? Well, I could just dig down, but then <sighs> I'd have to sweep up your jet suit. Not to mention every other duplicate would follow you the instant I was available. So here you go. Build your way to freedom. One of the things I'm working on right here is I'm going to actually... Uh, build this tile right here to close this off and then this down here will become kind of a living quarters or something We'll be able to put some more equipment over here like this molecular forge we will probably end up right there because that's kind of in a limited spot so Plus we got a lot of heavy watt wire in there. So the decor isn't all that good like ew. So just to clean up some of that stuff. Oh, that's right. We got to do some calculations steam first off how big is this area if I use the dig tool I have 315 tiles. We're not actually digging anything, but I have 315 tiles. So it's time for the spreadsheet. 315 tiles, right? I'm going to say we're going to have 2 kilograms per tile, which means two times that, we have 630 kilograms of steam. Dr. Eskimo, excuse me. <clears throat> Where are you, Dr. Eskimo? You're still stuck. For real? Priority level nine. There you go, that's one. You can do it, Eskimo. Um, what do you not have? Okay, you need obsidian then. No, you have enough material. Go grab it. All right, move down here. <sighs> Just trying to get you to build your way to freedom here. 
There you go. Now go grab your oxygen. <laughs> Just move on over there. It'll be fine. Ah, these dupes. All right, so getting back to my calculation here, we have that much steam. Okay, so when we run all of that steam through the electrolyzer here, we get uh, 888 grams and 112 hydrogen. 888 divided by 1,000, and that's how many kilograms we get. All right, so that's nice and straightforward, but what we end up with here is we end up with 70 kilograms of fuel for the hydrogen rocket because it takes a one-to-one -one ratio here, so our fuel is 70 kilograms. So knowing this number right here allows us to kind of figure out just how far we can fly into space. You can see that it's 166 kilograms just to go to 10,000 with one cargo bay. So what we really need to confirm is, is this our true mass per tile or can that be higher? Because if it's only two kilograms per tile, that isn't enough. We'd have to get over five kilograms per tile in order to have enough fuel to fly out to 10,000 and back on hydrogen. So because the amount of steam inside of here is so critical to our the amount of fuel that we can get out of it, I want to make sure that I'm capturing as much as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and put some doors right up here that actuate faster than these bunker doors. So we can use the mechanized airlocks and we can make these out of a high temperature material so that they don't break. So that would be steel. All right, so those doors are going to go right there and then I'm going to add the automation on top of that. And that will be steel as well. Just kind of maintain the integrity and the temperatures. Boom, there we go. We're going to have to build a little bit more steel. So, Drandolf, hey man, hop to it. What camera are you, bud? Oh, it looks like he's hard at work. Nice. Look at that. We got lots of steel right there. For some odd reason, the game told me that I didn't have materials available. Oh, uh, well. Who's making a mess? Kenzilla, what? Oh, dude, what are you? D How? What? What? Dude! How'd you get down here? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. What? You can't move all the way up there. What's your issue, dude? You just really wanted to come down here and flip some poop, didn't you? <laughs> See, now, Kenzilla has an issue. He actually cannot navigate back up into here. He can navigate everywhere else, but he actually can't get into the center room here uh, because of vacancy? Oh, Kenzilla, man. Just messing everything up. All right. Unequip. Not your clothing, dude. Put your clothes back on. Unequip the jet suit. Oh, dude. You peed all over the floor now. There you go. Have your snazzy suit. <sighs> There's several new dupes here, so we need more snazzy suits. Let's go ahead and add a few more. Mr. Spaghetti over there. Running around all slow. Actually, what's your athletics up to now, hmm? Six! You know what? Running all over the place has really helped you out. Okay, so I have a ton of pipes over here, and I was just trying to get them done last time, but now we should set them up to actually filter the gas that's going through them. That way I don't end up breaking anything. All right, so essentially what I'm going to look for right here is going to be anything that is not oxygen. If so, then I'm going to kick it out, and in this case, I'm just going to get rid of it. Although it might be hydrogen, there's a good chance it could be carbon dioxide as well. So I'm just going to be rather safe than sorry. Uh, as far as this stuff over here, that's either going to be hydrogen or oxygen. So I can actually send that back down into the oxygen side of things. Look at that beautiful spaghetti. So even if carbon dioxide does find its way in here, it would be picked up right there and then kicked out. Now, I probably will have to build more liquid oxygen things if I want to at some point here, if I want to expand the rockets further. Although this one right now is currently backing up. Like I'm putting, I'm producing more liquid oxygen than I can handle right now. And that kind of makes for an interesting thing. So you can see the amount of oxygen I have right here. That's 4,443. Uh, what I actually want to do is be able to detect if this pipe is completely full or something like that, and then turn off the flow of oxygen into this thing. That way it doesn't completely fill up, but whatever is what it is right now. So let's see if I can fit one of those devices here. One of those look like is this. <laughs> so the answer right there is no, not quite. To do that, I would have to move the petroleum. So I'll make that happen. Okay, so here's a good idea from iMac here, just to put a little storage compactor right next to the neural vacillator where I can put the recharge units. I like that, that's a good one. Simple, easy to do. We can slap it down right there. Now to figure out what tab that's under. Hmm. 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 
It's under industrial ingredient. All right, there we go. Okay, another thing I'm going to need over here is a way to send some wires around that are actually a little bit lower powered. Well, I guess I don't have to, but I would like to. Wait, these aren't... Gas element sensors no longer require power. Didn't they require power at one point? Oh, well, if not, sweet. You're just looking for carbon dioxide. Now vent that out. And you over here, actually, I don't want you to do anything. You can just be used as normal. On Sunday, I was trying out a few other games, about 30 minutes each. I got some other fun ones that I, I think you guys are going to enjoy here. Dr. Eskimo, don't you do this again. Mm-mm. You keep falling asleep in space and it's a problem. They're just a little bit too far away from the jet suit docks. These poor narcoleptic dupes, they just keep having issues that way. All right, let's see what's in this printing pod. Ooh, we got some Paku. We also got a couple of dupes as well. Even though I did it last time, I think I might want to try to set up another little Paku ranch. This one wasn't half bad, at least the one I'm doing right now, where I just have these little Pakus and they're just in, all in this one spot. Um, however, now they're going to be incredibly overcrowded. So, yeah, that's going to happen. But they're not yet cramped, so that's good. We'll, we'll find out, though, once this happens. Nope, still overcrowded. <laughs> all right, good deal. I guess I won't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 that's the thing. There's no eggs in here. Ooh, yeah, if you keep the eggs out of here, then they will only be overcrowded. You gotta keep the eggs out. I noticed that with Slicksters, too. They do the same sort of thing. You know, we could move these little guys somewhere else if we really wanted to. And then we could hatch them up here so that they keep building up more and more of them. That would be kind of ideal now, wouldn't it? Maybe we just put the fish inside of here. <laughs> <laughs> they just start swimming and then they watch the poor little pips, you know, hey man, we finally get to swim, but you No, I'm just kidding. I tell you what we'll move the Paku right down here there, There's enough room for a new home there And besides what else am I going to use this little spot for unless I you know do fish or something so hop to it dupes All right, so what do we want to do there? Well, I'm definitely going to want to have some sort of incubator and then a fish release right next to it so we'll kind of do that, a gold incubator. Um, and then the fish release. Boom. Maybe we'll put that right there. And then we need the little home for the fish down here. We might as well make it out of window tile because why not? Dig that up, sweep it away. Make sure to sweep it all into one single little tile over there. You know, try to maximize whatever frames we have. And there you have it. Yeah, about the performance thing, we did find out, at least from the last video that I was doing there, uh, this does suck down a fair amount of frames. Not like a huge amount. Uh, everything is a little piece and it all kind of adds up, but yeah, I did a whole video on that over the weekend. Oh, man, that's a lot of water. How much did you put in there, dupe? Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's six. No, keep going, keep going. Whoa, it's just spilling all over the place. All right. Mysterious physics. Well, I'll, I'll roll with it for now. What do we have up in here? We got... <laughs> Who knows how much water we have? I can't scroll out far enough to see it all. Not that scrolling out actually helps. Need more pixels. Ah! Ah! What a mess. Mop it all up. Uh, dupes! What? No, no, no. I said water, not polluted water. Crap. Alright. Try again, dupes. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. By the way, the sweep material by type here has been updated so that we actually have a uh, selectable thing like that. So it's a lot easier to use rather than the big long list there. Very nice upgrade, by the way. Thank you. There we go. I've maxed out the amount of water I need in that area. Not, uh, it's not completely full, but there's 600 kilograms down there. So that should be more than enough. And then I could just put the little fish release right here. Why can't I put it there? I can put it here, but not there. What? Oh, because I put the automation thing there. Whoops. All right, so I have a little fish release there, a spot for the fish to go once they've been released. And I will use the fry eggs right here, and we'll just kind of incubate those as need be. All right, so it's time for a new duplicate. Who do we have here? Hmm. Decorating Ada real high. Decreased air consumption. That's always a really good trait to have. But you can't perform digging errands. That's really not a big deal anymore. I've got plenty of people that can do digging. If anything, I might want to go through what people can and cannot do 
and maybe even straight up disable some of them. That is one possible thought when it comes to the actual performance of this game. So I think I'm going to bring in Ada here. Your name is going to be Arcturus, and thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter, and welcome to the base. Now the thing is, do you have a bed, or do we have to build yet another one here? Probably have to build another bedroom. Really filling up the dupes around here. Hmm, technically I don't need this anymore, but you know what? I can't get rid of that. That's just, it's just too nice. I think what I'm going to have to do here is copy this stuff up in this spot, and then build some more locations right here. Minus the shipping rail, you don't need to build that one, do. Let's see here, do we have room for yet another dupe right here? Maybe. That's a pretty small room, though. Mmm, what is it, one, nine tiles? <laughs> What does it take for a barracks? Ooh, minimum of 12. Yeah. Well, there is another spot we could put another dupe right there. That's a good spot. And technically, if we wanted to do this number, we could do that as well. But hey, at least this one has a self-contained, you know, solar system. That's pretty cool. Once, every, once somebody gets around to building it. All right, so there we have it. The little fish farm is set up and ready to go. So now all I'm going to do is bring down a little bit of food. We got a little fish trap. Shouldn't be too hard to catch one of these. <laughs> I can't say I've ever even used a fish trap. Fish? Fish trap? You're not catching anything. Hmm. Let's try that again. Hmm. No. Delete and try again. All right. So if we build it down there, but then we destroy one of the tiles, they should be able to swim around. But then I'll have to make. Then I'll have to get all of them out of there. That might take forever. Oh man. Well, let's give it a try. All right, now you can swim. Oh, ha! What? 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 What's this Paku doing? What? Clay, I, I broke your game again. Okay, we're gonna deliver all the Paku down here. Party level nine, apparently. I think all Carnage just got it, right? Yep, there you go. Come on, Gravity, take over. You can do it. Uh, what are you doing, Draco? Okay. <laughs> <sighs> ah, you see now this fish isn't randomly floating away. That's good. We've made some improvements. Who made a mess? Nixon? Why? I, th these dupes. Oh, schedule. I added another dupe to the mix. Articus. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I made some adjustments. All right, only 1.9 cycles away from the return of the hydrogen rocket. I am eagerly awaiting your return. Let's go ahead and make sure we get these wires built up here. I want to see just how much steam we actually capture here. Because that number that we're going to bring back is actually going to be double that. Because obviously it launches once and it returns once. So uh, 2,000 was what I thought we would have if it launched once. Until then, I'm just going to keep moving one fish at a time. Slowly but surely moving them all down here. What is with the fish that always gets trapped on the left? It just keeps moving away until it hits a tile and then it moves back. <laughs> what happened to the one on the right? Where did it go? All the way over here. Hmm. Huh? All right, so this is going to be a busy, busy cycle for rockets. One's returning over here on the left. Pretty soon, this one's going to detect the Spirit of Val coming back from 50,000 kilometers all the way out there. You can see this one's just delivering a lot of stuff. Pretty sweet. I'm actually going to disable this just for a moment. So that's that little sensor right <laughs> right there. Good luck finding that one. Yeah, so there you go. And then any moment now, this thing should tell me that, yes, there's a rocket returning. So there we go. All right, so we can see that it detected it, and we have these mechanized airlocks here. So those are doing their job. The thing we want to see here is just how much steam ends up in this in this spot. I've already disabled it, so it doesn't relaunch. Um, I'm also going to reduce the amount that is inside of it because I think I might just want to run to 10,000 and back a few times just to kind of see how much steam will build up. Vroom, there it is. So if we take a look at the gas overlay, there's a lot of it here. Right down there, it's like five kilograms. So in the middle, there's not a whole lot, but down there at the bottom, there is. What I want to see is these doors close down and really seal it off much, much faster. Yes, there we go. Oh, right then, a meteor. Jeez. Thanks, game. Oh, at least it didn't damage it. So we've got 10 kilograms all the way down here. 
Um, but we only have 600 and some up there, and I have no way of really knowing how much is in this. There is one way to, to figure that out. Here's what we could do. If we just cut this wire right here, we can count up how much liquid builds up in this reservoir once it kind of runs through the steam turbine. Okay, so this thing is detecting carbon dioxide and therefore opening up. So it vented out a little bit of the carbon dioxide that was out there on the bottom. I might want to actually put a tile right here because I noticed a little bit of steam went out as well. Uh, just to kind of reduce that. Okay, so you can see that these steam turbines are actually not running. And I believe that's because they are disabled by the automation sequence. So right now we're just holding steam in this room. Oh, and I forgot to disable the liquid, so I guess... I guess 1500 is what we're going to have here. Okay, so that gives the Spirit of Val... Oh! Still gives it a max range of 100,000. So that actually just brought back a bunch of Wolframite and Tungsten from this planet way out here. And that's actually quite useful for me because those are some high temperature materials. Plus tungsten in my situation is actually really useful for crafting thermium. Let's just see here, has the steam evened out yet? No, no, we still have a ways to go. Plus there's a few tiles I didn't count. We got one, two, three, four. Hold up, let's see just exactly how many tiles I'm dealing with here. So this main area is 294. And then I have an additional 10 over there. And then, so then that is eight more. And that is four more, so 316. How much did I have? Oh crap, a bunch of hydrogen was released because I disabled the tank. <laughs> Darn it, I just can't get good numbers. It's still kind of high pressure down here and it's a little bit low up top. I'm gonna, we're gonna say two and a half. Just because I have to estimate, I can't get any closer numbers. Here's what I'll do. We'll set this nice and high so that it runs a lot. We'll try to get all that steam out of there. And then at least I can count the water. <laughs> Although to my dupe, that let loose all of the hydrogen in here. Thank you. All right, so this is a good sign. I have over 600 kilograms of water, but I still have lots of steam over here on the left. And considering that's only half the trip, it's a, I might, it might indeed be self-powering. And meanwhile, I've completely forgotten about the fish down here, just slowly flopping around. What? <laughs> they only go into the... <laughs> <sighs> all right, so I've just about collected all the steam over here. I think it's close enough to give ourselves a more accurate estimate. So this is about 860 kilograms right now. We'll call it 865 once we get through the rest of that. So what that actually means is I have something a bit more like 2.7 five mass per tile, which was really close to my guess. How about that? So if we take this and we double it, we now see how much fuel we have. So that's 194 kilograms of fuel of both oxygen and hydrogen, which means yes, indeed, it is self-powering to 10,000, not self-powering to 20,000. So if we run it out and back, this thing should provide its own fuel with a little extra, barely self-powering. But let's go ahead and try it. And in the meantime, we're going to let all of this water flow over here to the right, and that's going to start to produce oxygen for us. And then those doors close down really fast before all of that steam can get out of there. Sweet. And then all of this oxygen is running over here on the right. Try to clear that one out. It's carbon dioxide. There you go. Copy the settings to all of this stuff. And then we're going to say no entry. Copy that to all of these doors so we don't accidentally go in there. And good deal. So now all of those are running. We should see loads and loads of oxygen flowing out of this thing. Some hydrogen. And hey, hey. Oh no, the power isn't detected. I never hooked up the power. Hmm. There we go. My dupes are working on it. A little bit more dupes. Gosh, look at all this oxygen. <laughs> That's why I put so many tanks down here. You guys were saying I should build a super compressor. It would probably be a good idea. And we can see that we're chewing through all of this steam. That's providing us with power. Very nice. This stuff never really gets cold enough to run through more than one port. But I guess that's good enough. We're just going to have to live with it. There is some potential for getting some of that heat out, though. Like, if it was at 200 degrees Celsius, I could extract the power much faster. Because right now it's running, oh, 280 watts, 170. So they're kind of small, small little generators. Okay, now that I have power, let's go ahead and reconnect the pipes. 
Oh, I messed that one up. Oh, crap. Now that pipe is blocked. Oh, because that pipe is blocked, it isn't filtering out. Darn it. This is getting kind of crazy here. <laughs> Whatever. Just keep building pipes. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Nice and filtered. And then right down here when we connect this. Ha ha! And then whenever carbon dioxide shows up, whoop, there it goes. So don't have too much fun with that, dupes. All right, so here's the thing. I'm producing more than enough fuel right now to run this hydrogen rocket only out to 10,000 and back. However, I'm also producing a ton of oxygen. Look at that. Well, literally 1.5 tons of it. So yes, it provides oxygen for my petroleum rockets as well. So there's really no reason at all for me to bring in oxygen from other rockets. So I've just disabled that. We'll just save the rest of the oxygen for the dupes down below, I guess, or maybe Atmo suits or something. And if I have too much oxygen over here, maybe I pipe this oxygen back into my base. I don't know. Once again, I have a ton of oxygen. <laughs> and this rocket is about to return. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Although I would say a hydrogen rocket is a bit more useful when you're flying it out really, really far because it's bringing back those really hard to get resources. So maybe there's a nice combination here, or maybe I need to start running a steam rocket. Not very far, but just a little ways. Because technically I would have more than enough oxygen. And there it is. The rocket is back, which means more power and more oxygen and a little bit more hydrogen. Sweet. A self-powering hydrogen rocket. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's fun stuff. And we can see that it's shipping out over here. Oh my gosh. There's so much shipping. <laughs> no, don't fill this up. Not completely. Wait a minute. What happened to my rocket? Oh no! It melted! What? I have melted a rocket with itself. Well, that's pretty cool. How about that? Well, you learn something every day. But at any rate, that's all I got time for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode here of Oxygen Not Included. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar, out.